So today I'm looking at um, head and neck pain and I'm going to give you a few exercises that can help with a number of different um, head and neck type issues. So I have in fact created um, four resources for you that you can get access to. Um, one that's on TMJ pain or uh, temporomandibular joint pain um, or generally just jaw pain. Uh, one on that kind of general neck and shoulder pain, particularly for those who kind of wake up in the morning with a stiff neck or find that you get a stiff neck from um, working for too long at the office. Um, I've also got a resource on whiplash and one on headaches and migraines. So what I'm going to do today is show you about five different techniques that you can do that are going to help you with each of those um, issues. So I'm going to start with two trigger point exercises that are really good for each of those issues. So we're going to look um, at the start with the SCM or the sternocleidomastoid muscle which sounds amazing um, and it's really this one that pops out um, that runs all the way from behind the ear to the sternum down here. So to do that we're going to treat trigger points in this muscle. It's easier if you turn your head away from the side that you're treating and you'll notice that it pops out. So I like to kind of turn and find it and just try and trace all the way up as far as I can up to the uh, top of my neck here. And then I'm going to be using um, this part of my finger with my thumb to kind of pincer grasp the muscle and it's quite a meaty muscle so you kind of feel a bit nervous about it but actually it's it's really meaty so I come up from the top and to treat trigger points you you're gonna start with that head to kind of turned away but then you want to relax the muscle by turning the head back towards it so I'm grasping the muscle uh, and when you find a sore point what we're looking for ideally is the point which is perhaps repeating the pain pattern that you're experiencing. So um, the SCM is really a key one, at, well, for all of them, but particularly if you're suffering with headaches, there are particular kinds of headaches that this can cause. So you might feel it in particular places. Um, so you're gonna grab onto it. You want to find that point of pain, um, but it's important that it's not more than about a six out of 10 on the pain scale. So uh, one is kind of no pain, 10 is excruciating pain. So you don't want it to be too painful. Um, and this is because the muscles are just gonna contract and you're not gonna find that release. So if, you, if it is more than about a six or a seven out of 10, just release your grip. So once you've found it, you're gonna hold in onto that point for about eight to 12 seconds. I like to take a deep breath as well. And then you just continue to work through the muscle, finding those points and releasing them as you go. And when you do find points, you're probably gonna to want to return to it about three times. So you're just working through and then going all the way down. At this point, it gets a bit thin, so I like to use just finger grip. And then again, you can do the same on the other side. Okay, so it's just kind of gripping the muscle between the soft bit of your forefinger and your thumb. You find the point of pain, you hold for about eight to 12 seconds and make sure that the pain is no more than about a six out of 10. That's gonna help with the SCM. The other muscle that we're gonna treat, so this is kind of the front of the neck, the back of the neck, we're treating the upper joint muscles.
working through from the neck all the way to the edge of the shoulder. So those are two really good trigger points for general neck and shoulder pain, but also for each of the other um, things that we've been talking about, so jaw pain, um, headaches, whiplash. Um, the next one to look at, this one is for you, Emma. Um, I'll tag you in this later. Um, this is for the TMJ or jaw pain. So we're gonna look at trigger points again, um, and mainly the key muscle here is the masseter muscle, which attaches um, from the, the cheekbone here down to the jawbone there. So we're using this kind of soft pads of our fingers, and we're just coming up under the um, cheekbone and then pressing in there. You can, if you're not sure exactly where it is, the easiest way to do to locate it is to clench your jaw on that side and you should be able to see um, my fingers pop out when I do that. Okay, so you're locating it on the side of the cheek and you're just gonna press in. You want your jaw to be relaxed at this point, so it's difficult to talk and do this. and you keep working down towards the jaw. And I like to do two strips here, so I do one kind of a bit further under the cheek and then one a bit closer to the ear around here. Okay. Um, but, and again, as a reminder, the hold when you find a point of pain for about eight to 12 seconds, make sure that it's not more than a six if it is, release the pressure. Um, the next one to look at, oh yeah, headaches. Okay, so a lot of tension headaches actually come from tension from the neck, neck and shoulder muscles. And pretty much all of these muscles that are gonna be causing you um, headaches. There's a, fan, on the resource that I've made, there's a fantastic um, image of all of the different trigger point patterns. So for example, the trapezius that we've worked creates a kind of question mark headache. Um, but there are loads of other ones that give you more sort of headache pains around here, headaches behind the back of the eyes, um, various ones. But pretty much all of those muscles meet at the back of the head, underneath or at the occipital ridge, which is really where you can feel the edge of your skull. So what I'm using is a thumb and I'm going to be pressing in start towards the midline of my skull and then I just do a little shift of my thumb side to side and I do about three places working out towards the ear then I'm going to shift down a thumb width and do the same thing That's difficult to know how much you can see of that. So um, as an example, if we imagine that this is kind of the back of my skull, and this is my neck, essentially I'm coming up with the thumb, pressing underneath, and do a side shift, and then again, and do a side shift. And then I'm gonna do about a thumb width down, and press it again. So it's this sort of action. that 
that. Um, as much as anything, the kind of the psychology of the whip crash um, incident is. at today um, and they're all videos of me um, and if I click on one of them you can see there's there's the video you can play and there's some instructions on how to do it so this is a kind of a two-week um, little movement or or trigger point treatment course if you are suffering with any of these with jaw pain with whiplash with general head and neck pain or with headaches then just drop me a message below and I will send you my resources. That's it. Have a good day.